A new round of campaign disclosures filed with the Federal Election Commission is shining a light on Donald Trump's fundraising efforts and just how much is being spent on his legal fees. About $50 million in donor money was allocated to help pay for Donald Trump's legal battles in 2023. The majority of his funds have come from small dollar donors. So for more on this, we're joined by CBS News political reporter Hunter Woodall. Thanks for joining us. Um, you got to wonder how people feel about their money going to all these legal battles. How is Trump able to spend donor money? And I presume people are thinking they're helping with his reelection campaign. How is that money available to him for his legal battles? Well, I mean, it's something that he's allowed to do, but the size of this is substantial. When you look at the numbers, I mean, my colleague Jake Rosen found going through, you know, campaign finance records last night, and we checked again this morning. When you look at these numbers, you know, former President Donald Trump, as he runs, uh, you know, for president once again, has spent, you know, around uh, 50 million on legal and investigation-related costs. That's a substantial figure. Now. I also want to note, however, you know, former President Trump is a large fundraiser. He does tend to raise a lot of money. So that $50 million is obviously money that is spent from various political committees. And when you look at these filings, too, his two uh, major, you know, political orbit um, places that you look at, his super PAC and his main campaign account, still have a fairly large amount of cash on hand. I mean, well, I believe well over $50 million when we looked this morning. So there's still a lot of money that the former president has to help him run in this, you know, re-election campaign. Now, the biggest thing, too, though, is he would have more money were it not for these investiga investigation-related costs. You know, obviously mm. the criminal cases involve, in, you know, one part, his uh, effort to overturn the 2020 election results. Yeah, uh, yeah, all that flying back and forth to so all those court appearances got to cost money, too. Um, I'm really curious about Nikki Haley, though, and how her fundraising is going. There's been a lot of talk about how what's keeping her alive are these big money donors, um, as opposed to Donald Trump with the small dollar amounts. But what do we, what do we know? What, do we, what have we seen? It's, so it's really interesting when you look at these figures, and to be clear, they only cover the end of 2023, so there is a little bit of a mm -hmm. lag, but uh, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, you know, and her, the main super PAC supporting her, and again, that super PAC can raise an unlimited amount of money from donors, whereas the main campaign committee is limited in how much you can raise from donors. Um, the Haley Political Orbit, again, the Super PAC and the main campaign committee spent around $86 million at least last year in trying to get her elected. That's a very large number, but it pales in comparison, actually, when you look at the amount that uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' campaign and the associated uh, Super PACs aligned with his efforts spent to try and get him elected. Uh, they spent, according to our count, over $170 million trying to get um, DeSantis elected president, and yeah. obviously the Florida governor dropped out after a second place finish in Iowa. Interesting. Um, I mean, I guess there are some kind of really long shot candidates that are still out there. Any uh, significant donor backing behind any of the other candidates in the race? Well, that's the thing. When you look at this, I mean, you know, essentially we've fallen into a two-person race in the Republican nomination, yeah. right? It is, is Haley versus Trump at this point. And if you're a donor, you're thinking, okay, you want that return on investment. You want to see, you know, either you're trying to send a message with the money you're donating or, you're, you know, are you trying to beat Trump? Are you trying to ingratiate yourself with Trump? And, I mean, that's the big thing here. And when we look at these numbers, you know, you can still have a lot of influence in this race if you're a donor, but also, I, you know, I, we could also start seeing more of a focus on for Republicans on down ballot races. If donors mm. don't want to give to former President Trump's campaign, you know, there's still every House seat will be on the ballot, um, you know, this fall. There's, you know, this control of the Senate is at stake as well. So a lot of different races where we'd see a lot of major money flowing to. Yeah, that's a good reminder, Hunter, uh, because that's what happened with donors in, in previous years. And they also found that maybe you could have a little more influence with the money that you have when you're looking at the down ballot uh, races. A presidential election is super expensive, but a congressional election, maybe not so much. Um, Hunter, thank you so much. Thank you.